Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Get a little coffee here. Oh, first sip of the day. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. If you're down in Corpus Christi for Lutheran Week, greetings, greetings. Hope it's all going well. Looking forward to hearing, hearing back uh, how it went. So, all right. Well, this morning in the Revised Common Lectionary, we're going to start off with uh, Psalm 107, um, a reading from there, and then we're going to Deuteronomy, and then 1 Corinthians. So, get a little... Oh, and just like my, my logo says, it's uh, God's Word and a Cup of Joe. So here we go. Psalm 107, verses 1 through 3, and then it skips down to 33 through 43. So here we go. As always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He has redeemed from trouble. And gather in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. He turns rivers into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, a fruitful land into a salty waste because of the evil of its inhabitants. He turns a desert into pools of water, a parched land into springs of water, and there he lets the hungry dwell, and they establish a city to live in it. <sighs> they sow fields and plant vineyards and get a fruitful yield. By his blessing they multiply greatly, and he does not let their livestock diminish. When they are diminished and brought low, through oppression, evil, and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. But he raises up the needy out of, out of affliction and makes their families like flocks. The upright see it and are glad and all wickedness shuts its mouth. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. All right. Oh, that's good. so good this morning. Uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning. We're going to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8. The whole commandment that I command you today, shall be, uh, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know, to know what is in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you, and let you hunger, and feed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might take you, uh, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Your clothing did not wear out on you, or your foot did not swell these forty years. Know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, the Lord your God disciplines you. So you shall keep the, keep the commandments of the Lord your God by walking in His ways and by fearing Him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs, flowing out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey. <sighs> a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you can dig copper, and you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Take care lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his rules and his statutes, which I command you today, lest when you have eaten and are full and have built good houses to live in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart 
be lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrifying wilderness with its fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you, you water out of the flinty, flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna that your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and test you to do good in the end. Beware, lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. And if you forget the Lord your God, and go after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I solemnly warn you today that you shall surely perish. Like the nations that the Lord makes to perish before you, so shall you perish, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. Mm. All right. On to the New Testament. Uh, the reading, the New Testament reading this morning, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 through 30, 31. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has anointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, ad helping administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But earnestly desire the higher gifts, and I will show you still a still more excellent way. All right. This is the word of the Lord. Next, we'll go to the Pray Now app and read the prayer of the day let us pray mighty God your crucified and buried son did not remain in the tomb for long give us joy in the task set before us that we might carry out faithful acts of service as did Jonah Mary and Salome offering to you the sweet perfume of our grateful hearts so that we too may see the glory of your resurrection and proclaim the good news with unrestrained eagerness and fervor worked, worked in us through our Lord Jesus Christ, who rose and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. All right. <clears throat> the prayer had mentioned uh, Jonah, Mary, and Salome. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Murbearers. And there's a little paragraph I'd like to share with you. Um, Known in some traditions as the, the faithful women, the visit of these three persons and other women to the tomb of Jesus on the first Easter morning is noted in the gospel records of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Jonah was the wife of Chusa, a steward of Herod's household. Mary, the mother of James, the son of Alphaeus, was another of the women who faithfully provided care for Jesus and his disciples from the time of his Galilean ministry through his burial after the crucifixion. Salome, uh, the, mother, uh, the mother of the sons of Zebedee, uh, joined with the women both at the cross and in the, uh, bringing the spices to the garden tomb. These faithful women have been honored in the church through the centuries as examples of humble and devoted service to the Lord. Interesting. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.